Maybe it's vital organs develop even before we know that we are pregnant. So like if you are waiting, okay, I would start eating this when I get pregnant. Sometimes you won't even know you are pregnant until after the first trimester. And after that, the vital organs must have developed. So that's why you need to be taking those things even before you are pregnant. So that if pregnancy occurs, you already have what you need in your body for a proper um, vital development. Hey guys, you are welcome back to Adorable Kitchen. My name is Adora. I am a Nigerian YouTuber. I live in Chicago, Illinois. If you are seeing me for the very first time or you are coming across this channel for the very first time, you are welcome. Please subscribe. Today we are going to be talking about something very important, okay? Something very, very crucial to baby's um, development. So the topic is foods you should be eating if you are trying to get pregnant or let's say foods to consume when trying to get pregnant. So maternal nutrition is very very vital for a baby's proper development, okay? Some congenital birth abnormalities have been linked to or maternal um, malnutrition or some deficiency in some vitamins that a mother needs in the body for proper um, um, fetal development. Baby's vital organs like the heart, the spine and some other important organs like the kidney develop very very early in pregnancy during the first trimester of pregnancy that is the first three months in pregnancy the spinal column of a child that is the spinal cord starts closing within the first six weeks of pregnancy and before then some people don't even know that they're pregnant so that is why it is very important that you start early like if you know that you are planning to have a baby you are trying to get pregnant or a baby you have to be eating all of those things because your baby needs it in the first few weeks of pregnancy to develop properly. So the first vitamin I'm going to mention is folic acid. Folic, folic acid is, is the synthetic form. The natural occurrence is folate, okay? Folate of vitamin B9. So folic acid is very important in the development of a baby's um, spinal cord and brain, okay? It prevents birth defects like neural tube defect. Neural tube defect is um, made up of two um, defects, spinal bifida and anencephaly. Spinal bifida means um, inability of the neural column to close properly, okay? Because it's not the spinal cord at the back. It's supposed to fuse properly at a time. But when it fails to close, there'll be a bulge. And when there's a bulge, the baby might suffer from some um, disabilities like paralysis, incontinency, and some other things. Then anencephaly is the um, inability of the brain to develop properly. Most times, people with this don't even survive, okay? But others could, okay, be prevented with folic acid. A pregnant woman or every woman should be taken um 400 micrograms of folic acid daily the worst part of it is that most times we don't get enough of those um, vitamins in our foods okay like you don't get enough of them in our food that's why it is best to supplement with with folic acid that's the one we buy in the pharmaceutical stores but the foods that you should be eating that are rich in folate are leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, broccoli, aquaquangara, you know our um, aquaquangara, our garden egg leaves, all those are very rich in folate, okay? Other foods rich in folate are eggs, okay? You can boil your eggs, hard boiled eggs, um, then um, fruits like um, citrus fruit like oranges, lemons, tangerines, another food that is rich in folate is beef liver, you know liver. The one that you get from beef it is high in folate okay so you can use it in your food maybe when you're making um like rice you can just um cut the 
beef livers and mix with your food it is so rich in folate other fruits rich in folate are avocado banana and pear pear is ube please ignore whatever baby sound you hear in this video okay my baby is sitting right there and i've been planning to make this video but i'm looking for the right time but he's always awake so let's just please ignore the sounds so the next nutrients or the next fight i mean the next food you should be eating if you are trying to get pregnant is foods rich in calcium okay calcium is very very important in the development of a baby's bones and teeth and the bad thing about the deficiency of this calcium is if you don't have enough calcium in your body your body will go and take the ones you have in your bones you know our bones and our teeth they are made up of cows okay your body will go and take up the ones you have in your body in your um, bones and use it for your baby then the implication is that you will suffer from um, osteoporosis osteoporosis is just a bone condition okay osteo means bone porosis means porous porosity so when your bone is porous it means that it becomes brittle and any little thing your bone will break like you have fracture so that is what osteoporosis is and it is as a result of lack of calcium in the body so you need to consume foods very rich in calcium so that your body won't um, have the need to take up the ones you have in your body to use for your baby so you need enough if you are trying to get pregnant and when you are pregnant so foods rich in calcium are milk soy milk almond milk buy orange juice fortified with calcium cheese yogurt kale um eggs meats and poultry calcium is very very important now the next food i'm going to mention are foods rich in iron okay iron deficiency is very very bad when it comes to you and even to your baby's proper development so iron carries oxygen to your baby okay in our blood iron that's the hem it's what transports the oxygen throughout our body so it is that same iron that will carry the oxygen to your baby so when you have deficiency of iron which most people have you're going to have iron deficiency anemia which is so so bad in proper development of a baby imagine if you don't have enough oxygen to give to the baby that means baby will not survive okay so if you're trying to get pregnant it is good to eat foods rich in iron you can also get iron tablets or iron supplements from the stores okay but remember with your doctor's prescription foods that are rich in ions are iron fortified cereals okay if you want to buy cereals just check the the pack to see if that cereal is fortified so if you want to buy cereal just make sure that you buy ones fortified with iron can so can you, can i talk can I talk? Can come. come. Foods rich in ions are iron fortified cereals. Okay, so when you go to the store to buy cereals, make sure you buy ones fortified with iron. Other foods rich in iron are lean meat, um, like chicken, turkey, and then um spinach okay remember when taking iron supplement okay you need um vitamin c because without vitamin c your body cannot make use of iron for instance let's say that iron is the um organic butter, butter that will do the work but it needs a driver to transport the iron to where it will perform the work so that means that um the vitamin c is the driver why the iron is your cat butter, butter that will do the work so you need vitamin c to transport iron to where it will perform its function so while consuming um iron you also need to eat food to reach in vitamin c so vitamin c is a precursor to iron 
Another food that you need to consume if you are trying to get pregnant are foods high in omega-3 fatty acid. Omega-3 fatty acid. So omega-3 fatty acid is very crucial in the development of a baby's brain, okay? Neurological development and also visual development like development of the eye like the retina, okay? So if you are trying to get pregnant, you have to eat foods rich in omega-3 fatty acid and you can get that from seafood, seafood like um, shrimps, like fish, but please be sure to check with your doctor before you consume some certain fishes because some are high in mercury which is also bad for your baby other foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids are not such as walnuts then the last food we are going to talk about today are you need to eat foods rich in high in fiber okay high in fiber and foods with low glycemic index okay because if you eat too much carb food too much carbohydrate food you might develop gestational diabetes okay so gestational diabetes is just diabetes that occur in pregnancy some people don't have um diabetes naturally but whenever they get pregnant they will develop this um gestational diabetes but you can control that with eating the right diet maybe slighter organs develop even before we know that we are pregnant so like if you are waiting okay i would start eating this when i get pregnant sometimes you, you won't even know you are pregnant until after the first trimester and after that the vital organs must have developed so that's why you need to be taking those things even before you are pregnant so that if pregnancy occurs you already have what you need in your body for a proper um fetal development so with this we've come to the end of this video and if you like this video please share it to someone else okay share it to any other trying to conceive mom out there and give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that whenever i put up a new video you'll be notified thank you so much and i will see you in my next one Bye!